Steam drunk? If you're watching this video, there's a 99% chance you know who the angry video game nerd is. And maybe you've played one or two games based on that character, but I can tell you, none are as good as the angry video game nerd adventures. This is a game that transcends its subject matter, meaning even if you don't like the nerd or don't even know who he is, this game is still a fantastic playthrough. But if you do know who he is and you are a fan, this game is that much better, because there's tons upon tons of hidden characters, bonus material, and running gags from the series. There's Guitar Guy, Motherfucker Mike, even Super Mecha Death Christ. I'll admit, I've been a little burnt out on the nerd character, I just think we've seen the best the character can offer at this point. There's only so many ways you can call a game terrible. But I gotta say, I really enjoyed the humor in this game. I like the nerd phrase randomizer that appears every time you die. The sheer randomness of words here consistently make me chuckle. Anyway, this isn't just a fan-made game created just for the novelty, and I don't mean because it's a game based off of the nerd, I mean that this is a retro-styled game. There can be a tendency with some of these games to be lazy and sloppy, just coasting on by on the retro gimmick, but Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures is really well made by people who really know what they're doing. The level design is balanced and well done, you can shoot in 8 different directions, switch through weapons, even a really shitty one which is played up for laughs. There's a full screen attack, tons of weapons and power ups, and the game in classic nerd fashion is hard as hell. It's really frustrating at times, but for the right reasons. It's got that early Mega Man Castlevania style difficulty, but the gameplay is so well done you just want to keep playing. I will point out an exception to this is the Atari porn level. The bouncing gets so freaking annoying after a while. That's the one level where I said fuck it and went back to play the other levels, but that was the lone exception for me. People will definitely hate the death blocks, but really, I enjoyed the challenge because it didn't seem too impossible. I always managed to inch just a bit further than before on each life. That's the thing here, this is the kind of game where you die a lot. The key is don't just see it as failure, it's just how you're supposed to progress. Super Goals and Ghosts is the same way. You die a ton, but you inch a tiny bit further in each life, and once you start to see the finish line, you just want to keep going. Ultimately, the difficulty is going to make or break your opinion of this game. I think the level and enemy design, plus the variety of your character's abilities, makes it a lot of fun to play despite how hard it is. So yeah, if you've subscribed to this channel, that obviously means you like NES and SNES games, so you should check this game out. Even if you don't care for the nerd in particular, give this game a chance because it's far beyond a novelty theme game. It's really well made, and a rewarding experience. Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures goes for about $10 on Steam. So yeah, add it to your wishlist and wait for it to go on sale and pick it up. It's awesome.